How's it going guys? Today we're going to be looking at my old Minecraft worlds from six years ago. If you go on to enjoy this video, if you could please drop a like and maybe we could uh, hit 300 subs for the fifth time. That'd be pretty epic. But yeah, enough yapping. Let's get right into it. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, super smelter looks like. Yeah. Look at the storage. Wooden blocks and valuables. Wow, we have six diamonds in there. Miscellaneous items? Nope. Three bed setup. What is this? AFK Fisher. I remember this. Uh, AFK box. Is there anything else? Like down here? I'll see. See, there is a village over there. It's something. But what do we got over here? The entrance. Yeah, let's wait on that for a minute. Or not. Just kill the spider. Base camp. Damn. The texturing goes crazy right here. Um, Let's see what else we got. There's just a drop down there. And this way to the mines, I guess. Let's see what's down here. It's a long ways down. That just looks like a normal strip mine. Yeah. Nothing special there. So I think we'll go up here and I think the last thing in this world is just that hole, whatever's in here, with the trap doors. So let's go check that out. We nope. We Well shit. On to the next world, I guess. I did not realize there was a block there. <laughs> and oh my god, I am stacked. What do I got here? Ephlytra, airplane pillow, rain boots. Some great names here. Dagger, void pickaxe, void axe, tux, spade. You know what? This is not my stuff. This is, I copied my brother's world over. These are his items, so. I just realized that, um, wow. Yeah, this is an XP farm. Uh, I can see if it still works. It should, hopefully. Yeah, it does not look like it's working. Okay. Well, let's go through the portal and see what we see on the other side. Elytra, I guess. Let's fly over here. Oh, shit. I actually remember this. So, that's our old thing up here, I believe. This is our old nether hub. Up top. Yeah. Kind of just abandoned up here. And then down here, I believe, is our new nether hub. Potentially. Yep. Looks like it. Um stuff in here I like how we only have one like thing uh zeppify and big power might as well check out his base first i guess Let's see what we got here oh where am i uh that is a lot of loot there's a shit ton of stuff in here um, he's got a nice house here, actually. And again, I have all his stuff in my inventory, so. I don't know what I had in my inventory. I could probably figure out, because I think I also have this save, but not as updated. So, let's see what we got out here. Damn, there's actually stuff. That's crazy. What's over here? Oh, four iron per slot. So these are our shops, it looks like. One diamond per slot. Nothing in there. This should, he's an enchant shop. I remember that. That's pretty cool. And my base is there. So we'll go over there next. He's got a pretty nice house. Spotsy. Here's the sheep farm we made for him. Bunch of stuff over here. Oh shit. We got our sumo arena over here. I remember this. We absolutely destroyed him in sumo. 
That's pretty cool. Um, he's got a big wheat farm over here. Wandering trader, what you got, man? Absolutely nothing. Okay. And over here, I believe, is netherite hoe. It's like a mini micro farm from some YouTube video. And this, I believe, yes, one of my famous jukeboxes. It actually looks really good. And then just flick it, and it should start playing. Flick it again. I think it's empty. Uh, I have one at my base, so we can look at that. And, oh boy. If this is what I think it is over here. Yup. The biggest waste of my time on this world is this iron farm, which never worked. Because iron farms are so bad in this version. Um, but yeah, here. Pretty good. This iron farm, it's like half built because I gave up because it stopped working. So yeah. These are all my boxes, I think. I wonder if there was any villagers up here still. Probably go check. There's one guy. Uh, you know what? Nobody saw that. Um, all right. Next up, you can f keep following this path here. And I believe that way is to my base. And this way is to more shops, maybe? Uh, this thing. Oh, it's my barn. I remember this, bro. Jeez. This is actually like my most insane build of the time right here. It's pretty good still, but not the best. Oh, here's my actual shop. The junk drawer. I just put a bunch of random stuff in there. But actually pretty good books. And pretty good stuff. Small build, 30 minute end raid for you. They've kept farm for you and chain your stuff. Stroker box. Is that, there's actually a lot of stuff. One slot is a one diamond and cookies are three diamonds. That's like one shulker box for one diamond. That's a pretty good deal right there. Um, yeah, as we get this way, you're going to notice the frames dropping. I'll wait for that. But actually, you know what? We can go on there right now. This actually really good build still for nowadays, I would say. It's going to be very laggy in here. And I can't really do anything about that. You'll see why in a second. But this is a really good build, actually. Hidden lighting right there. This is the Villager Inn. And I guess the zombie broke in, broke the door. Uh, we had a little reception area here. I remember. Let's see what's written in this book. You can buy a baby villager for one diamond, all for three. Pillagers, ten diamonds. Oh, this is their price to get in. Wow. See, we got the lore in this world, I guess. Um, down here, I think this was the first emerald ever traded here, if, I don't, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but down here, in this prismarine box, there is like 200 or like 100 villagers in here. And like all professions all lined up. That's why it lags really bad in here. Um... Yeah, this is actually a really cool area. All the labels and everything. These are all my shulker boxes. Just everywhere. Kind of a mess, but... Whatever. Yeah, we got fishermen. Butcher. Shit ton of stuff down here. So that's pretty cool. Um, Toolsmith. Nope. Bunch of totems. Yeah, so that's why this world lagged. I remember that. This might have actually been like... Well, I used to be on the top. Here, I can show. Up here. There used to be an area uh, right here where this chest is. There might even be some stuff in here still. Yeah. All the stuff was traded from villagers. All the villagers used to be right here. And it lagged so bad at my base that I just like got sick of it and just put them down really deep in, the, in a hole. But... It reduced some of the lag. It's still pretty laggy, but yeah. 
that's that's what we got there um down this path i think this is our gaming district we got like three games over here don't really have anyone to play with but this right here these are all like custom games that we made we didn't like copy these yeah we got two whole games here one for me and one from him for my brother this right here is believe it or not connect four and all you do is you just put the thing up here and i mean it's just connect four there's nothing special about it yeah and then i think just to clear it you flick this lever probably yeah you just collect it i mean it's pretty simple but it's a pretty fun game i would say close that all right next we have this actually genius game by my brother it's like like you gotta time your archery kind of uh, let's see if there's even boats in here oh there is actually so what you do is i don't know how to start it but basically what would happen is there'd be pistons that would move up and down and then a boat would come out and you'd have to shoot it and i just broke that okay we're gonna stop touching these things because we're breaking everything um i'm gonna go sleep real quick okay that's way better so now we can check out this thing that's been in the middle of the sky you probably saw it earlier we can also go to that thing next this is a creeper farm that my brother built a lot of uh, trap doors and buttons for this and i don't know if this is still gonna work but right here we had one of the one of those uh if you remember one of them like it was like 1.14 i don't know what version it was for bedrock but it was like the one tick and it like insta growed the sugar cane you could do that on bedrock with just like a water bucket so that's what this is and you basically just get infinite sugar cane really quickly i don't think it still works uh it does not look like it's working but yeah it just puts the water there and then over here this is where you'd actually afk and there's a trident pusher oh it still works yeah look it's actually still working wow basically creeper spawn in fall down and died and you get gunpowder wow look at that um all right before i check out my base we'll check out this over here which, if you're wondering, how do you guys have so many tridents in this world? Well, it's a drown farm, and it's basically just a big box of water. Ow. Yeah, a big box of water right there with a, an egg in the middle, if you can see that right there. And, oh, that's where we started over there, so that's pretty close. And basically, oh, land... God damn. Please land. Okay. And that's how we get infinite drown drops, basically. So all this stuff in here. Plus tridents, obviously. And I think there's actually one more farm in this world. But we can go there after we go to my base. So. After the long wait, we can finally go check out my base over here. And I believe, just go this way. So in my base, look at this beautiful decorations we got. It actually looks really good, I think. Ow. Um, this pond was here, but there was no water in it, if I remember right. So I kind of filled it in. And yeah, I wish this was still a realm because I could like show you the screenshots of it, but can't really do that. Um, nice like camp over here, cooking some a slab of meat. And up here, I oh, actually got signs. There's spider farm, skeleton farm. Oh yeah, his name was Z Box. I remember that. Uh, where's the spider farm at? It was over here, right? No. Well, I have no idea where that spider farm is, but my base is in this hill right here. So up here, you got a mine down there, standard stuff. 
Oh, rockets. Portal. Oh, here's another one of those things. See, this one actually works. Yo, it actually works. Do you hear that? And it like ran, it like randomly selects what song. And there we go. That's how you turn it off, I guess. Okay, turn it off. Okay. Over here, we got my shroom factory. It's a pretty nice area. All decorated. Um, man. Can't, this does, you can't tell me this looks terrible. It actually looks decent, I think. With all, like, the emerald ore and everything. Obviously, I'm not going to have all the stuff in my inventory. I could probably go see if I have a save for it, but I probably don't. Um, here's my dog, I guess. Get all this stuff. And this is actually supposed to be shut, but I had, like, a secret area. For the longest time and my brother never knew this was here and if you like open it to this top left it brings you into this vault which had all my stuff basically and you could like lock it from the inside and yeah i had a bunch of stuff in here books everything end gear all this stuff so it's pretty cool i think there's that might be all my diamonds this had the best stuff for here yeah all this stuff um pretty cool thing I'd say and over here oh it's a map of the end islands snow farm and this is my expanded storage because eventually I ran out of room putting stuff around here and I was like make another hole so that's what I did and yeah nothing ever ended up in here really because we quit so yeah that's my base it's pretty nice, I think. Pretty chill. And yeah. Oh yeah, this chicken. Um, This was here the first day that I found this place and he's still up there. He might even be name tagged. I should check. Chicken. He's not name tagged, but he just didn't see spawn, so that's cool. All right, there might be one more farm in this world. So I'll go see if I can find that and I will be right back. Okay, I found this, so I think the farm is this way. Does he have soul speed? Probably not. Oh, he does. Don't die. So we'll go this way, and this is the last farm of this world, and then we can move on to the next one, I would say. Yep. Oh, there's a gas up there. That is not good. Try not to die. I guess we never finished this road. And in here is the most broken farm on Bedrock, which is a raid farm. Because you'll get so many items. Not use two players on. Okay. And it's really easy to build. The trash pit, it looks like. Is there any loot in here? Yeah. Infinite totems. Infinite emeralds. Literally broken. It was in the middle of the snow, so that's pretty cool. And I can see if it actually... What it looks like up here. Like on the land. Ow, okay. Yeah, it's basically just another pit of water. And then you fall down onto the trident. And yeah, that's basically it. Can't get out of here. And yeah, you just stand up here where all these boats are and just collect levels. It was like 60 levels in like 20 minutes. It's pretty good. So yeah. But that's about it for this world, so let's go on to the next one. I think it's time we check out... I don't know if this was our first or our main uh, creative world. Let's see if I can find it. Right here, New Age. We spent so long on this. We tried to make like our own server, and yeah. So, let's go find the lobby, I guess. Right here is our old spawn. You can see... That is my brother's old skin when he was chalky only, only only like two people will remember that. And this is my old skin uh, for Bedrock Edition. The one I have on Java is actually the skin I've had for ages, so. These are our games we had. We had Kit PvP, which is almost done. Master Builders, not started. New Knight, our Fortnite clone. That's where we started. I'll show you that last because it's probably the best game. And then we had the Parkour and Hunger Games. I think there's more games up there. We'll see. 
for this diamond enchanted circle when you spawn in the cursed creeper oh that was just basically a creeper head that was like floating we had the lucky crates i don't know if this one still works yeah i think i disconnected this one but it works up top so i think we'll i'll go up there i'll probably just tp myself again oh perfect okay here we are we got the banner thing on the bottom Look at him, bro. It's Chakioli. Oh my god, and that was my skin right there. Yeah, we built these beautiful things. We'll try not to blow this up. There are barrier blocks everywhere, so can't really do that. Um, random thing over here. Here we go. Update board. We did the city update, that's for new knights, and then welcome to the new age. That never happened so. Over here, we got lucky crates. It's basically just a lottery system. You don't have to pay anything, but it's pretty cool. And it works by basically just spawning, copying those barrels down here, up here, and you have like a one in six chance to win. So, oh, see if I can't win here. Shit. Yeah, and I won, and that's basically it. And over here, once again, our games, kid PVP up here. We're fixing bugs, new map, master builders not started. I believe we started that new night, almost done parkour, hunger games. You never get to that. Um, legacy and revamped. I don't know what that means, but yeah. So I guess first thing we could do is start kit PVP. I mean, I don't really have anyone to test this out with, but how it would work is you'd push this ready button you'd say fighter black is ready and you'd have to stand on here and then uh oh yeah there's different options you can do pvp or kit pvp so i guess pvp first and like there's rules you can if you really want to read that you can pause it but yeah chalky Oli. my brother really changed his name like a million times so fighter yell is ready and then it teleports you in Let's in survival. And then because it says PVP, you'd have all these chests around with like OP loot that you just grab and a bunch of stuff in here. Maybe one day I could like bring people on this world and we could just play it and stuff, but yeah. Bunch of chests. Once you win, you just push this button and oh my, okay. <laughs> This is actually our second spawn. I don't know why this takes you here, but yeah, I forgot we made this thing. No, this is actually our newest. Yeah, this is our third spawn. So the one we just had was our second one, I guess. But, um, yeah. Build, legacy, parkour, PvP. And I know this is our new one because it has these villagers, which you like. Click the game you want to join. You build battle. Is this an actual game? Nope. And yeah, so you go back to PvP. Yep. And I guess this time we can do kit PvP here. I'm gonna clear my inventory quick and fix my keyboard. And clear. There we go. So we can click kick PvP selected. Fighter black ready, fighter yellow ready. And then instead of you spawning them this time, you get taken to this area and you can pick like a kit. And all you have to do to select a kit, it says up there, just press a button, get up close, and then you get all the stuff. So I can show you like each kit gives you a certain amount of stuff. They're not balanced at all. I'm pretty sure one of them was broken. I don't remember which one it was though. And then we'll get wind. Oh, it actually worked out. It's supposed to like it's supposed to. Yeah, it was this one that was broken because you literally get a stone sword and a bow with Salonis arrows. I guess only two of them clear your inventory. But then you'd equip your stuff. It's like equip, and then when you're ready, you click play, and then it's literally just the same thing again. So yeah, except there's no chest this time. 
That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Clear my inventory. I guess we're playing out this. I guess we're at this hub now. I forgot there's a third one. Uh, PvP. We did build. I'm pretty sure that's a game. I'm going to look for that. I got Legacy, which is also Kit PvP. Why is it the same? What is over here then? Also PvP and also New Knight, which I'll go to last. And over here is parkour games. Parkour. Oh, we were just there. Yeah, there's a whole lot of nothing here. I guess there's speed, normal, MLG, start game. Okay, let's click speed and start game. Okay, let's do normal, start game. Normal. Wow, look, there's a whole lot of nothing. Oh, there's actually... I think there might only be stuff for... Here, let me go into creative. There might only be stuff for MLG, because that's the one I remember. Yeah, here we go. We actually got stuff. So you can go back to parkour mode. Ladder, cobweb, water. Uh, is there a set spawn thing? I guess not. We'll click ladder. And then basically you just try to MLG on this thing. It's kind of hard, actually. And you had three modes. You had cobweb. This doesn't work. You had water. Try to MLG with this. Yeah. Not the hardest thing ever, but yeah. Pretty cool little game mode. TP up. There. Back to spawn. Okay. I think it is time. Maybe for a new night. Okay. We're back here. I guess Maldrick's Master Builders doesn't exist, but we can go to a new night. So. As always, you gotta start in the battle bus, you know, where we drop in, you know, Marcus Brownlee. And then if you step on this pressure plate, you get an elytra and then you, you, you where we drop in boys, oh my God, it didn't actually work. It's supposed to give you a map also. I don't know why it didn't give me one. All right, so I got the map. This is what it looks like. You know, we even got the, the names up there, like in the sky so you can see we got Soccer Scam. It's a great name. Magma Magnus, Loopy Lake, Mindful Mountains, and I think that's it. It's supposed to give you when you start and you're having your offhand, kind of like a mini map. So I guess first we could go. Um, it's also supposed to be a locator map, but whatever. Um, we could go over here to Soccer Scam, which is literally just a soccer arena that we called Soccer Scam for some reason. And over here we have a little sub area, which are have these name tags. Mini Meteorite, and this is also Money Mine right here. And yeah, just these small areas. We didn't get into putting chests. If I could get our original world back, which I can't because I kind of deleted it. We had a much smaller version of this that was actually like fully complete, fully playable. And it had chests and everything. I wish we could get that back, but nope. Um, right here is our, ma our main meteorite area. We got the Dusty Depot, you know. There's another mini one over here. Meteorite Fall. Pretty cool area. Um, over here. We got whatever this is. Oh yeah, this is a trap house. Terror Town. You walk in and you're supposed to get stuck, except you literally can't. <laughs> uh, we're supposed to like fall in here. You just fall your death, but you literally can't. So that's the thing. Over here is our prison. What is this called? Be a junkie jail. Built by Zebify himself. Basically just a prison. There's some prisoners in there, I guess. Yeah. Back over here. Come out. We got another little... Oh, this is Magma Madness, actually. And I believe there's Magma Blocks under there, yeah. Over here is... I'm taking this elytra off. 
is Trippy Trove, which is there basically what there was gonna be is really OP stuff in the middle, and you just have to like walk in this maze. But I forgot to that. Um, over here is Viral Valley, and here I'm gonna put this map away. Um, basically just a valley, yeah. Some fields over here, funny fields. Great name. There's snow globe over here. I don't think this is called anything. Oh, it is. Silly snow globe. Yeah, they both gotta start with the same letter, guys. Over here is a loopy lake. With this boat that I ripped off the internet, definitely I did not build this myself. <laughs> um, bunch of gold down here, I guess. What's in the captain's quarters? More gold. He's got no bed, just gold. Okay. Um, over here, it's a pyramid. The Terror Temple. Guys, it's a one-to-one -one replica, guys. How did we do it? Uh, never mind. There's nothing down there. <laughs> Where's the suspicious sand, bro? But yeah, it's basically just a replica. Alright, so over here, we got the Quickly Cory, Mini Meteorite, and Mega Mine. And it's just a mine. We're wondering why everything looks so flat. It's because there's literally nothing underneath, but... All this custom stuff. There also is custom weapons, I believe. Let's see if I can find those. Got a lighthouse over here with the slime block launcher. Oh my god, that does not work apparently. It literally does not work. <laughs> oh yeah, it's parkour to the top. That's why it's like scuffed because you're supposed to parkour. I guess there's a chest up here. Um, over here we got this is what I spent the majority of my time on in this world for some reason I did not texture the snow on this side first I textured the snow on the other side which this literally took like forever probably like I don't know 20 hours because <laughs> I'm slow and I gave up this is what stopped me playing on this world was this mountain right here so yeah I guess we can enter it from the point of this town right here. There's also a mini area up here, mineral mine. But this road like juts through this mountain and it's a pretty cool area. There's a cave in ahead, danger. See with caution. So this was supposed to be an air. There's gonna be another area over here filled with like bunch of honey trees all in this area back here but I never got to it so that would have been cool but that's why all this honey is here if you're wondering there's a cave in you can still get out but it's annoying and yeah there's another field thing over here mindful mountains frozen fields yeah pretty cool mountain wish it was textured the whole way but that didn't happen and then there's this thing over here, which is a base. I think this is a trap of some sort. Well, I guess you can just crush somebody in there. I don't even remember when that was built, but it was, I guess. Um, over here, nice beach area. We got the Sharky Shores with too many fish for that amount of area. Oh, it's just death. Yeah, if you swim in this pool, you're just dead with all the pufferfish. Um, here is Paradise Palms. No, just kidding. Whatever it's called. There's a giant lava river. I think that's cool how, like, the road gets destroyed and, like, juts up. And, yeah. Um, now... Oh, never mind. Fiery Fields, Corner Cove, Lava Lake, Desert Drive. Four names for this tiny place. <laughs> And there's also carrots growing right there for whatever reason. But our main thing in this was the town, which was going to be built up, which you kind of gave up on. But we got a bank here, it looks like. Oh, a nice reference to the sunflowers from my world that I might be able to show later. Um, we have this tower here that was built by my brother. More slime block launchers. Oh, these ones are actually going to work. And you come up here and 
basically just a lookout tower you could drop somewhere where you wanted Yo, we got ikea okay i think i built this a lot of stuff on the shelves it looks like pretty cool more stuff here um we got a nike store it looks like what's up what's up selling them nike jordans oh my god pretty cool and we got this building over here and these are actually what inspired a world i made with cyber where we built a city i probably have pictures i could show right now and we built a giant city and that was basically taken from me doing this first so this is kind of the inspiration from that or which caused that um yeah nice little store thing here there's like storage up here if i remember yeah we got this giant clock tower here, which is pretty cool. It's like bigger than everything. There's nothing inside, but yeah. Over here, it's a headquarters. Oh, here's the map. This is what it looks like, a full map right there. It looks pretty cool. I like how the mountains look um, on the map. And that's about it. We got some cars over here, looks like. And one guy's house, which is on fire. Should probably fix that. And yeah. I think that's about everything for this world. Probably my biggest creative world that I've ever made. I mean, this game would be fun if we actually finished it. Oh wait, I forgot. There's custom uh, weapons. I think they're in this chest. Let me see. Yeah, look at that. Got my jetpack on. I definitely sold this from a YouTuber. There are some I actually made myself, but not that one. Oh, shit. Yeah, I definitely did not make this, but it's like an aura. I think that's really cool. Yeah, like the one thing... I feel like commands are way easier on Bedrock command blocks here we got make boss fight game summon leash on wow look at that i can make this up here <laughs> for whatever I can draw peanuts wow i don't know if that had to be names or and stuff for it to work oh that works yeah this was gonna be a weapon pretty simple one pretty cool launch pad Oh yeah, this is where we're gonna have launch pads and like a rifts or whatever. You get a rocket and you just put it at your feet. And well, I guess it doesn't work anymore, but it would launch you up. But yeah, that's better for this world. Definitely my biggest creative one, like I was saying before. Um, uh, see if we can find another one. Pretty cool world right there. A lot of stuff. Oh, this is actually my stuff. Because I name my stuff Silky Slug Bro too. I got my own chest, I guess. A lot of stuff here. Be cool. Let's see if I can't find my way back home. Oh, yeah, I think there's a few guardians out here. Oh my. Yeah, there might be a couple guardians down here. Where are they? Are they actually out here? Oh shit, they are. Oh crap. You guys are not supposed to be down here. How did you get out? This is gonna be very loud, but I think the we can see if this farm works. Yeah, that kind of worked. Um, the destiny book. What is this? Oh yeah, that was just things to do. But I don't know if we even have any here. You know, since we're ever gonna play in this world, I'm just gonna. Oh, wait, yeah, there's no cheats. God. Well, basically, what you do here, I'll come back later and do this. This is too loud. Gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh, I'm here. And I'm at my brother's house once again. Yeah, he had a pretty nice house in this world, too. And 
There was like this secret thing over here, I remember. With all that stuff back here, because you tried to hide it from me, I could literally just break in, but whatever. <laughs> and it's Christmas tree and expanded area you did nothing with. Oh, I gotta sleep real quick. All right, and out here, you can actually see the outside of his beautiful house. Pretty nice. A lot of farming. You got the chicken cooker I made him over here. A bunch of chickens in there. Maybe. Yeah. How's it going? You guys can stay in your internal prison. You're never coming out. Over here is Parker's book to beat the game. Oh, that's the same book that we saw earlier. Okay. Over here, my book to beat the game. What do I got? Fine diamonds, full diamond gear. Go to the nether. Go to the nether. Build mansion. Build compound around mansion. Every villager, every farm. Frank Dillon. Okay, well. And this is our Broint system, which is this is how you're going to trade with each other. Like, you could trade in a certain amount of stuff for Broints. Like bro points, and then you can tell like the price of everything. I'm just realizing we had a lot of lore for two people in a world, but basically you get the broints, and then we had our trading booth over here, and you like walk in one side, the other side, yeah. Um, over here, bro, this is our our water slide. Look at me go. Wow. Yeah, that's our water slide. Right next to our graveyard. What a great site to put a water park. We have a doggo's grave. Yeah, we were playing this in 2019. Dash's grave. A doggo twin was found with hunger. Rip. And over here. Continuing on. This is my house. Beauty. What a beauty. Built at a weird angle. Oh my god, that guy flew. Um, I like this house still, I think. I like how it's like, I got all my stuff here, and it's like elevated, or whatever. Um, enchant table. Down here, this is my journal, I remember this. Let's go through what happened. We also see the last time I was in this world, which was like a month ago, ignore that. <laughs> that was my brother. On 616, I set up an auto pumpkin farm, and I started my base compound. And then improve the compound. Move the villagers over. Need Parker chicken cooker. Yeah, I'm stuck inside. Oh yeah, I came on here. That was when my dad had COVID. <laughs> Five eleven twenty three. Eating a burger with no honey mustard. Eating a burger with no honey mustard. Over here, we got our mine. Pretty simple stuff once again. I really like how weird this house looks on the outside. It's kind of cool, I guess. Um, over here I had my actually nicely decorated, besides the sheep one, animal pens, pretty nice. Like, bro, look at this house, it goes crazy. This is my farming district right here. Had a bunch of farms, auto melon and pumpkin it looks like. See if that even works. Oh yeah, kind of. Um, you know, if I get my trident out. I can go look over here because I remember it's over here because I was just here literally a month ago. We got our villager area, our humane villager concentration camp. And they're all just working away. Look at them go. Mm, what do you got? Nothing as always. Okay. This, we're going to build like a whole village over here. That never happened. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of stuff in this world. But it was a pretty nice one, I think. And you'll notice that all of our worlds that are survival, it's just I build a base, he builds a base, and there's a path in between. And that's literally all of our bases. Uh, yeah, so this world is pretty cool. Go check out the next one. All right. So this is our world. Pretty cool. Nice and tiny. Um, believe it or not, there's his, there's my base, there's his base, a path. Who would have thought? 
Um, yeah, but my original base was actually right here, and you'll never believe what my brother did. Um, he blew it up. I think there's still stuff down here, maybe. Let's check. There might be like a farm or something down here. A uh, skeleton farm, potentially. Uh, no, I guess not. I was mistaken. Okay, let's go back up. Um, what do we got? Nether. We can go there next. A wall of wood. Oh, there's actually stuff. Two pigs died. 117 to 310. Mom and dad chicken die with one month old baby. God damn, the live leak got released. Lil Joe died by chicken nugs. Oh, that's respect the dead. Welcome to the pro city where only pros live. Okay. We got our anim... <laughs> we got our animal shelter right here. I hear 117. We got a panda, chickens, sheep. Nice. Oh, there's their food, I guess. Um, over here is my house, I think. Dingle Dylan's house. Oh my god. LOL, I got pranked. That's crazy. Before, what is this, actually? Oh, this is an automatic sheep. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Thought it was something special. This is my house. I copy this house on so many worlds because it's such an easy design, but looks. Decent, like, all wood types. Um, nice small house here. View stuff. Not that much. Alright, so, we got a basement area as well. About 30 times bigger than the actual house. Not a lot here. Uh, or bamboo farm, I guess. Um, uh, smelter. Yeah. Uh, there's also a horse down here. How did you get down here? I guess you're not getting back up either. That's a pretty cool area. Um, oh, look at that. Richmond 53's mailbox. Another name. How many names does this guy have with his identity crisis? Single, don't fall in. So this is my brother's base. Richmond 53 now. We go up here. He actually had a really cool base design, I think. Where it was like elevated in the sky, and then he had this to like throw. This was his trash can right there. That's where there's a giant hole. But here's all his stuff. Not much. His armor stand. And he had a pool over here, and then an even bigger pool right there with the floaty thing. Three diving boards, yeah. Got farms in the middle. And then we had a sewer. For whatever reason, we had that right there. And then villagers down there, I guess. So, yeah. Pretty nice little world. I think that's about it for this one. So, I guess it's off to the next one. I will see you there. All right, so we are in another world. This one clearly has a texture pack. Uh oh, you hear that crickets chirping? That's how you know this is a good world. I love pack. I love resource packs like that. That like the subtle noises. Um, this is the world where I was trying to just like chill, have a chill time, just building weird stuff. So I built this cow pen here. Pretty cool. Um, my house, I believe, is over here. I took over one of these villager houses, maybe I can find it. Maybe I can find it. Um, where is it? Oh, right over here. I literally, okay. I went the wrong way. Um, this is my house over here. Once again, I literally did the same thing in my 100 days video. Literally the easiest house you can make is combining two houses. Uh, yeah, my stuff in here. Damn, I was rich. What do I got in the book and quills, man? Nothing. Okay. I think there's a big skeleton farm over here. Let's go see if I can find it. Probably following the path, if I had to guess. Yeah, right here. Or right here, I guess. There's probably this, too. To drop in. Boom. 
And this is what I spent most of my time on in this world was the skeleton grinder. Actually nice design, I think. And way over engineered, like trash can here. Drop in lava. Nice like water thing. Here too. Oh here you can see the skeletons actually come up right here, I believe. Yeah, look at him go. And then he should just drop right here eventually. And be close to or at one hit. I don't know if I did that on this one, but we can see. And yeah, this world's pretty tiny. It's just chill world, I guess. Yeah. Oh, he's on three hits, whatever. Close enough. We got storage over here, and that's basically it. Pretty tiny world, but pretty good one nonetheless. I really like this design. But yeah, on to the next one. Oh my, no way. Okay, so this is probably the first survival world that we had. And over here was my base. So ignore that I lost all my stuff in the ender chest, but <laughs> this is also the first time I ever beat the ender dragon, I believe was in this world in Minecraft ever, even on Java. The chicken cooker over here. I actually played this world mainly on Xbox, which was interesting. Um, I guess we can check out my house. Or more like a hole, which was what this was that I just came out of. Um, not a lot of stuff in here. Very old world. I did not expect to find this. Um, we got anything good in here? Books. Eggs. Yes, this world is definitely from 2018 era. Because I remember this this like really old right when I moved into my new house. Um, we got broken. That thing is glitched. Over here, I believe. Yes, we have a villager farm. Right there. That's pretty cool. Probably the first one I ever built. If I had to guess. This is my AFK right here. Oh, here's the old bedrock AFK things. It was just this. And that was the AFK pool. I don't know if that still works. Let's see what's over here. I actually have no idea. Let's go down here. It's very weirdly shaped staircase. And oh, enchanting nook right there. Oh, this brings back some memories right here. This room. This is my old sugarcane uh, skeleton grinder. So basically just kill the skeletons, put the sugarcane in here, or in this mini farm. And this was before you could do the cheese thing in the other world. Like you actually had to let the sugarcane grow or bone meal down. So it's like a lava thing there. That's pretty nice. Um, yeah. This is a really old world. Okay. Um, Go check out my brother's base next. And then, or should we go to the nether first? Probably go to the nether, see if there's anything there. I still like how I'm super zoomed out. It's kind of annoying, but see what's in here. Hopefully some good stuff. And, wow, look at our nether hub. It's great. I don't think there's anything here. <laughs> yeah, just villagers. Okay, never mind. There's nothing here. Whoever's in the store, probably. Oh, we definitely had a villager breeder somewhere. Let's see if we can find that. I think I know where it is, honestly. If I remember right, we had a big prison area, maybe? Let's see if I can't find that. Well, I guess I just found something. <laughs> That's not the same portal I went into. Okay, what building are we in right here? And it is... Ooh, ooh. This is an old build right here. My first ever villager breeder I built. And this was with the old villagers, like where you didn't need the station. So that's why there's nothing there. Uh, we had some good ones, I remember. Yeah, mending... Multi shot, Fortune 3. Yeah. 
And then we just cart them through the nether and get some cake. And right here, I don't know what this is. Zombie spawner. That's what that is. Probably this way. Probably go down the trapdoor. Yep. Ooh. I like how I always decorate these. It's a farm somewhat. Very nice farm. Obviously, you have to have the drowned. Turn them into drown right there for the tridents. Yeah, for the tridents right there. <laughs> Got a couple tridents, you know. Very nice area. Wish I decorated the walls, but whatever. Let's see what we can find next, obviously. We got a village area. Oh. Oh. My old, old, old portal right here. Because our bases used to be both over here. And then we had this nice area leading up to this portal. That was before I moved away over there. But this, I believe, is my brother's base. Oh, let's see what this donkey's got. Nothing. Okay. Yeah. That's my brother's base over here. Don't judge, he would have been like, what, eight or seven. <laughs> Playing on his iPad for this one. This is iPad era for Zepify. Um, Still a nice area, still a nice house. What is that? What is this? Merry Christmas, bro. Do I give him a Christmas gift? That's great. Um, Classic chicken cooker. A little over engineered, but we got this stuff. We got another horse pen, caution tape. I should probably go in the front door. It's beauty of a house right here. A lot of paths. It's got the cats. I don't know why there's caution tape. This is a bunch of potions. Can I go through the caution? Breaking the police lines here leads me to cake room. This is like an endless chest room. Is there an exit? Okay. How do you get to the top? That's what I want to know. Also, what's down here? Oh, boy. I think I know what this is. <laughs> is this his tunnel to spy on me? It probably is. I didn't even know this was here. I'm not gonna run all the way down if that's where it is. Oh, it's to nothing. Wow. Never mind. Yeah, I don't think there's a way up. Oh, it's on the side. There's a little greenhouse area. Not too bad right here. Looks pretty good. See if I can't find that prison. I know it's in this world somewhere. It's probably over there. Yeah, probably follow the rails. I can find it. Yep, there it is. There is my beautiful prison for all those villagers. I think it's just a villager breeder. Yep, that's definitely what this is right here. Villager breeder. Although it's broken. This is our little villager prison area. Didn't really get finished. Okay. Pretty nice, but... I think that's about it for this one. Uh, see if we can't find another world to finish off this video. So I'll get back when I get to that one. All right, so we are here in our final world of the video. This is called Trollcraft, and this might be our most recent survival world. Maybe like 2020, right before I got my actual PC. I think we're playing this world, so. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff, so we'll explore all that. But first, we got my castle right here. Back when I was still big underscore foe head. Only real ones remember. If not that long ago. Um, nice little castle here. See level 30? Nope. I actually really like how this looks. Why do I have so many cookies? Yeah, this looks really nice. I guess I didn't finish it, but this massive cropland back here. The 9x9 plots, classic. Um, 
That's my base. Not very interesting, but it looks pretty nice. Especially with all these trees around it. Following this broken bridge, I believe we're going to get to the town area. And, yeah. We had another... Okay, I should explain this for the coins thing. Uh, I should actually probably do that. No, I'll do that later. Um, We had... The whole point of this world was we wanted to make a better economy than, like... What we used to do was just use iron ingots. This was before, like, the baroints or whatever that we made up. So we had these coins, and then what we tried to do is we made shops for each other because we were on a realm, and you basically we had our own economy. So you could pay three coins for a sleep, um, and gold ingot was actually also worth three coins. That's why that's in there, pretty sure. And we had these little shops around. So this was like a hotel if you needed to sleep. Over here, we have the stable built by my brother. I don't know if this is a shop. Probably not. Looks pretty cool, though. Very cool. Um, over here, we had... This is his food truck. You buy bread. for Five bread for two coins. If I remember. Where's the entrance? Right here. Yeah, nice little food truck. Yeah, we did a lot of role playing. <laughs> uh, oh, here's our to-do list. We wanted to decorate, spawn for Christmas, plan out gifts to each other person for Christmas. Another live talk. Oh yeah, we have a radio talk show in this world. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of role playing, more than I remembered. Um, defeat the Ender Dragon in the Wither, build another hub, finish bank, make a city, twenty-five shops. Build Ice Path to Auto Raid Farm. Here's our event board, it looks like. New event, Christmas Ho Ho Ho. For my brother, he's got to build a bone meal farm and find a skeleton spawner. For me, I had to build a bank and finish the base. Don't hate to donate. I'm going to donate a slab of wood, guys. That's great. Um, Parker. He got five coins for improving paths. Wow, good job. Okay, I gotta sleep. I gotta sleep. I don't got no money. I'm gonna sleep. I don't got no money, though. About to scam this shop right here. You only been here in like a long time. So we're gonna sleep real quick. Try not to die from the skeleton out here. Keep moving forward this way, though. This was our jail. Obviously, you get locked up. With our role playing, it makes sense. Um, 15 dirt for one coin. In a dirt shop. Okay. What is this? Oh, a base, I guess. Gives a nice overview of the area, which actually not half bad. There's actually a lot of stuff here. Um, up these stairs over here. We had, I think our first house of the world was this little box right here. I don't know what that netherrack is, so probably look. Oh, there's a sign over here. There's also a creeper. Well, rip that. Danger, you're entering Crater Hill. Well, it makes sense. There's a creeper right there. Uh, I guess there's a Crater Hill up here. Oh, yeah, I wonder why. A few creeper explosions happen up here, I guess. Fitting for the one that just tried to kill me, I guess. Over here. Keep continuing on with these shops. We had a grand reopening one slot for five coins. This looks like my shop right here. Similar to that uh, one shop I had earlier with the cookies and stuff. Yep. I actually got some... I got seven coins. I can go pay the shop, guys. And this right here is our talk show. Where we role-played talking. He would sit there and I would sit here and we would pretend we were newscasters. And it was pretty fun, actually. So, there is that. There's actually no way out. So, you have to break the door, I guess. Nice little role-play there. And if you were wondering what this is right here that has been making a lot of noise, this is our bank. And 
what we would do is all up there we would have sugarcane so this would use that same sugarcane insta one tick grow and that was in the other world and the sugarcane would grow here and we would use that over here uh it would go into this chest automatically half would go over there for sugarcane half would just go over here it would go into these composters and then complex little system down there i don't even know what's going on it would grow it would use okay it would turn the sugar cane into bone meal with the composter then bone meal a sunflower which as you can tell are our coins and then basically we're printing money so that's what's going on here we're printing money and this was our bank and that's how we got our money so that's pretty cool um Another shop over here. Fishing loot you may just like. One slot for 20 coins. That's a pretty nice shop right there. One tropical fish for 20 coins. Okay. Alright. We got this over here. Which is just a villager area it looks like. What do you got? What do you got buddy? What do you got? Garbage. What do you got? Garbage. What do you got? Pickle. Alright, so. Final build, it looks like, of this world. This castle right here is my brother's castle. And you may be like, go in the door. Why aren't you going in the door? Because there is no door. You have to swim in the side. Through this hole. I don't know where that goes, but you swim in the side. And that's how you get into his base. His master defense against me. I'm also stuck. Alright, in his actual base, I finally made it. It is a castle. Like, same as mine, but a little bigger. Um, he's got some stuff. Not much. Very inconvenient entrance. You can literally just walk through and break the blocks, but whatever. Role playing. Up here. There's that, I guess. But he would have this thing to prevent, or to get down from the top or to prevent me from getting up, which I could literally just swim up, but whatever. He'd pour water down there and then push me away. So that's a thing. That's his defense is to push water down and I can literally just swim up and get him. But yeah, that's that's a great defense right there. Oh, but yeah, that's about it for this world. And I think that's about it for all the worlds I have for Bedrock Edition. Um, if you're curious to see more or you want to see more, I have job edition worlds, like I said, I don't have the, like my very first worlds, but I have worlds from 2019 to 2023, give or take, I can show you my actual survival world that I play on from time to time on job edition, if you're curious about that, uh, just leave a comment, tell me that, you know, you want me to do that, and I will, but uh, that's about it, hope you enjoyed, and uh, thanks for watching.